Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I'm not going to speak on too much. I just want to get right on into it because I noticed that you guys just want to get to the nitty gritty. But I do want to say thank you guys so much for my new subscribers and my OG subscribers still riding on with me. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Please keep in mind that if you do need a personalized reading or you need to reach out to me for whatever reason, please do so via, me via email, okay? Uh, we're going to be doing a July 2022 reading or a prediction of what is going to happen or what you can look forward to for the month of July here. All right, so we're going to dig deep into some um, of your energies for Virgo. You don't have to be a Virgo to be subscribed. It's all about energy here, okay? And good vibes and spiritual healing, all right? What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node? What is it that Virgo needs to know at this time? For July 2022, what are the current energies for July 2022 for Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to know currently? So we have Discovery. So some of you are discovering who you are. Some of you are discovering things about you that you have either overlooked or there's something that you are discovering for the first time here, okay? At the bottom of the deck, I see you coming into some type of status quo, all right? So the number eight and the number two could be very significant. I see some new changes, some new developments here. I feel like whatever decision you made, you're at peace because you were so far into just moving forward and putting on a mask or behind a mask or masking how you felt or biting your tongue so much so that you weren't in a place of peace here. So now you're stepping into what is going to make you step into the light of stars or something that will bring you some type of new beginning in um, prosperity, okay? So we're going to take a look at your intentions. Some of you are wanting to discover something new. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. I haven't used these cards in a long time, so bear with me. So we're looking at discovery. So upright, a man is mining for gold, okay? He has been panning and searching for quite some time, but despite his diligent work, he has not found the treasure that he has lain beyond his reach until now. It says, get ready, Virgos. A time of discovery is opening up for you in the month of July, okay? New ideas and new energy will help to bring forth a goal you've been working on. Although there may be more pains, painstaking work involved, this card is telling you that a positive resolution is at hand. Keep your eyes and your mind open, for you may actually stumble on an unexpected discovery or idea that brings great value to your life. So prosperous energy. Many options can lead you in exciting directions. You may be introduced to someone who resonates with your heart. A job offer may come your way or you may come across a book, video or spiritual practice that is helpful in your daily life or business. This is very auspicious. This is a very auspicious time. New ideas, information, and exciting new connections are vibrating all around you. A gold mine of discovery awaits. Okay? So, Virgos, I spoke on this literally in the read that I just uploaded a few hours ago. Okay? So, everything step by step is unfolding. I'm getting that there was a decision you were going back and forth on in regards to a relationship, career move, or in a situation that, that had you um, torn, okay? But now that you know what direction you're going in, it's going to lead to some type of prosperous uh, situation here, okay? So let's see what else is coming in for July 2022. For July. At the bottom of the deck, we have camels. So it says, persevere and you will overcome problems. So keep 
pushing, keep moving through, do not give up because you're stepping into a new experience here, Virgo. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh, wow, look at all that. Okay, so in October, there's going to be um, a goal that you're going to be reaching. I'm getting here by uh, May of next year or April. There is going to be some type of dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Okay, it's going to lead to some type of celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Some of you could portray yourselves as a younger woman. So you may be dealing with someone that is younger than you here. Yes, but there are some temporary problems that could be uh, coming about. Someone is going to get some type of new job or career. This was at the bottom of the deck here. All right. So I'm going to put this in a pile. Let's see what else we have for Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. So Virgo, it looked like you had to put something on hold in order to grab some type of inner strength here. That's what you're focused on or you're working through. I'm hearing something about background noise. Someone could be on the phone or um, out on the road and there's some type of background noise during a conversation or someone's trying to talk to you and there's some background noise. I don't know why I'm hearing something about that. This is way too much. What do we have for Virgo Holy Spirit for July? July 2022 for Virgo, please. Okay, so we have who's calling me from an unknown number. Some of you are going to get calls from an unknown number. I know I've been getting those and they're very annoying. Um, we also have limitations. Someone is limiting the energy that they uh, portray or push, push out on other people. Someone's not giving their energy no longer to someone. Someone's putting limitations on the person that they don't or no longer want to have um, dealings with, okay? I'm getting that there needs to be some type of effort or participation um, in a work situation, in a conversation, in an endeavor. We also have nagging. And we have loss of apartment or shelter, okay? We have, you're never alone. Your ancestors are here. We have errands, grocery shopping. And we have tents. Someone could be stressed out over the loss of an apartment or something becoming too much. Maybe bills here. We have ready. Someone is ready to make a bold decision here. Take it as it resonates, reverse the rules. I'm hearing something about someone taking care of business. Okay, taking care of business in their home, their family, their children. Okay, so we have a time for healing. Someone is going through some type of healing process here. Spirit is saying believe in the impossible, even when you don't think it's possible. What is the current situation for July? July 2022 for Virgo. Yeah, I feel like some of you need more time to heal. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, a lot of you are still heartbroken over what you've been through or a relationship that didn't go so well or a job. We have the snake. So there's someone here that, that's constantly in competition with you like an enemy. Someone's working against you or has malicious intent. Okay, this is someone that you could either know or someone that sees you as their competition. Okay, someone sees you as their competition or wants to make it hard for you to move forward because they see that you're moving on, that you're ascending here. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Tony Braxton, Unbreak My Heart for this person here. What's cooking for Virgo for July 2022? July 2022 predictions for Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. So someone here is preying on your downfall, okay? Or someone's being very deceitful when it comes to being in balance, okay? It could be a, a woman's energy, The number 25, the number 22, the number 47 could be significant here. I'm also seeing that there's someone that's being very, very manipulative and deceitful when it comes to them healing. Someone's acting like they've healed, but they haven't. They're still indecisive about what they want here. You're trying to get away from the envy. Someone could also be doing some dark magic to keep you in their in their energy here. What else? What's this magician? We have the garden and the gate. So it looks like you are waiting to be free. It's like you want to be able to fly and bloom and blossom. All right. But you're looking for that, that, um, knowledge expansion in order to do so after getting out of a caring connection here so you're learning to be strategic or you will be what else is coming in for july all right so we have the number 37 here with the third chakra archangel chamuel so this has to do with uh you know, you channeling your energy and, and coming into healing. Someone hasn't healed yet, okay? And someone's also dealing with not being able to open their heart chakra, but, kick, but needs to learn to kick back and relax and allow spirit to help you do this, okay? I'm hearing that someone's carrying the weight on their shoulders and needs to allow spirit to help them out because as spirit said you are not alone virgos allow them to help you with some of that burden that you're carrying okay with the thinking woman you're trying not to think a lot about the things that may have hurt you or what keeps you reminded you'd rather end things the way that they are some of you are going to be periodically learning how to channel your heart chakra or letting love in what's this thinking woman in reverse we have envy there are some people that are envious of you because you have 2020 vision of what's real and what's not okay you've made up your mind about your money situation that or um a, a situation that no longer serves you you're walking away from this. Some of you are walking away from a job as well because it didn't allow you to grow. There was no abundance here. Let's see what else is going on. For Virgo, July 2022 prediction for Virgo. Okay, so I'm getting here that someone's trying to set their family life back on track so that you can relax your mind here. Something has been out of whack. 
we have therapists. Some of you need to speak to a therapist or some of you may feel like whatever it is that you do or maybe you have a good ear for being a therapist. I'm getting that you being a therapist is going to bring in a whole type of cash flow, a lot of money. Someone may even um, consider doing this as a job because they're good at listening to people's problems and giving suggestions where needed, okay? Someone also is going to get caught up and this is going to cause someone to <laughs> not to be able to perform, okay? Someone could be musically gifted, maybe uh, canceling a show here. Someone got caught up into some shit with a, a female and is now uh, denied access here. Take it as it resonates. Let's see what the Kipper sends us for July 2022. We have a gift. So there's a gift coming in for you, Virgo. One plus seven is eight. I'm getting for your strong work effort and um, drive. You're getting some type of gift. It may be from work or something that you do to put in work, something to do with your hands here. What else? For Virgo. Some, some of you may be given an offer. Give us some upright messages for Virgo, July 2022 for Virgo. We have expectation. So there's something that you've been waiting on or expecting. It's been on your mind here. But I'm getting that you don't have to worry about it. When it comes to a mature man or someone that is, you know, very petty, you don't have to worry. There's a mature man that is that is very petty right now or in this petty energy. I'm getting here that even though this person is walking away from a marriage or, sorry, from their partner, They're trying to come towards you, to your home, okay? I'm gonna see what this is about here. What's this house card for this marriage in reverse? We have the four of swords, the two, the high priestess and the ace of wands. Okay, so when it comes to this household situation here, I'm gonna show you the three cards just so that you guys feel included or, um, that you can see what's going on. So what I'm getting here is that this person is not doing the shadow work to come into having their third eye activated, okay? This person is not seeing uh, clearly what's going on around them or they're not able to because they're in a low vibrational type of energy, okay? With the Ace of Wands, I do see that this person could be very emotional, whether very happy or very sad. Someone's looking for an inspiration here. The Ace of Wands, there could be um, a, a want or need for new ideas, um, a new beginning. With the Four of Swords, I am seeing that someone has gotten a rest period, but now they're coming into wanting fresh ideas, new energy here yeah this is someone that that isn't working right now someone may be out of a job right now so they want to come towards you okay we have seven of swords this person is very defensive doesn't know if this is something that they need to do but they're going to try to work their charm on you but they are slowing down their their movement to come towards you here okay this person is realizing or coming to some type of realization though 
this person is realizing that they need to take advantage of this right away page of pentacles yeah Okay, so here we go. Let's get some tea talk. Going into July 2022 for Virgo, please. Sun, moon, Venus rising, north node. Let's see what we got here. So I'm getting house hunting, house warming, okay? I'm getting that you're gonna take someone up on their offer to go house hunting or um, you're going to be invited to a house warming. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles. Instead of saying, you know, too much, I'm getting say less, okay? Say less to the people that don't really matter. Majestic messages we get for July predictions. We have stop trying. Uh, someone here is trying to stop your success. Okay, someone's preying on your downfall this summer. Okay, because you're living too much of your best life here. So someone wants to try to slow you down. Don't take on anyone else's problems. Okay, don't invite this person that doesn't have the best of intentions for you. Okay, someone is too red eye, okay? Red eye, as the Jamaicans say, they're too red eye, man. We have moving out, scandal. So someone here could be moving out and there's some type of scandal in regards to this. <laughs> it's so funny that this is coming out because isn't that what we got? We got this card here. Someone's trying to fix a toxic family situation so that they can relax their mind. But we also got that someone's caught up and is now obsessed with you because their life situation is not going the best. Okay? Or someone's gonna um, put out some type of scandal of you moving out and why? What else here? Someone is so hell-bent on bringing up the past, okay? Someone here has changed whether they got a haircut, their weight gain, or loss here. Someone could be going to court for child support as well. I did see that card. We have fire sign. So there could be a fire sign that's out of a uh, home. I did see court settlement. Wow, this person could be dating a younger or older, an older man or older woman, or Virgo, you could be dating a, a younger or older man, okay? Some of you could be moving to another state. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles. Sorry, you guys. for Virgo, so 
Sun, Moon, Venus rising, North Node. So we have a romantic situation or dynamic with someone that you work with here. And that's the gag. I'm seeing that's the gag. Someone could have been messing around with someone that they were working with, okay? And they're trying to convince you that it's nothing more, nothing less. It just is what it is. Okay. Someone here thinks that you're too good for them or this is your thoughts for someone else. Someone's trying to stop themselves from impulsively buying an item that they really wanted or something that they just see and want to take home with them. Someone has a lack of faith, religion, belief, or hope, but is going to be in this happy space, okay? Let's pick up some spiritual messages for July predictions. Ooh, so there's going to be some type of radiant energy. Spirit is saying embrace your life's journey in this okay we have in tune forgive and move on so some of you are going to come to the realization that you shouldn't hang on to anger hate envy or um hatred that you should just forgive and move on in order to help yourself heal okay some of you are going to be taking this um new month that's coming up to really sit down beside yourself and focus on what it is that's going to help you heal. And some of you may be getting support. Whatever spell work that they're trying to do on you will be reversed. I just see love spell in reverse. It's not going to work. So return to sender. What's the sitch? It says, getting even. Two can play that game. Your career is going to take off. Someone here is in this energy of wanting to get even. We have delusional behavior and connected I'm in love. So someone here feels like you're, you still belong to them or this is your energy towards them. Someone is struggling with letting you go or you're struggling with letting someone go. Okay. Someone is in some type of love situation or a love affair. Someone will be spending time with the, the person that they're interested in. I'm getting here that this person is trying to spend time with you or come towards you in your home so that they can uh, come back towards you. They're in a situation in which they're staying with a person or living with someone that um, they have either children with or responsibilities um, with here. All right, so I'm gonna get some other cards that I forgot to add. Sorry for the background noise. Let's see what else this person wants to say. For July 2022. This person now wants to be more than friends. They want to be ready to make this bold decision to be more than friends. Okay? What else does this person want to tell you? They don't want to admit that you were the best thing in their life. Compared to everyone else that's ever got a shot, no one came as close as you did, okay? They hid who they really were from you, and they try to hide behind material things. And whatever it is that you said to this person has a huge effect on them. It says, I replay our conversations over and over. I hide behind material things, and I do hide who I really am from you. Okay, so I'm going to try and use my angel answers in regards to these two cards that I just placed in my reading to see what's going on here. I'm 
why is I want to be more than friends here? Is this for real? Does this person want Virgo? It says look for a sign, okay? But a lot of you can't let go of this connection or this person or this is this person feeling like they can't let you go. I'm getting here that some of you don't believe that you can find something else that's better. <laughs> wow. Why is you were the best thing in my life? Why is this here? It says trust in the divine here. All right. But a lot of you are not ready to choose a new path. Okay. Some of you are, are defying this new path that is here for you. But there is recovery in the matter. All right. I was going to go into another deck in which I should just to make sure that this person isn't screwing around. Let's see. What else this person would like to say? It looks like this is a destined partnership or this is how this person feels. This person doesn't want you to know or maybe they want to tell you about all the lies that they've told you. But they've been hiding a lifestyle that they don't want you to know about. Okay? They've also been hiding the fact that they have feelings for you but they feel stuck and they're still spying on you here. Okay? They feel like you were there something different and, and, and that messed them up. But they don't want to complicate anything because they're also in a relationship. All right? But they're in a sad relationship that they're really not wanting to be in. All right. So yeah, this person feels like the connection between you and them are still there, but they're not ready to surrender. But they are curious about if you are thinking about them. All right, this person is trying to get unstuck from this karmic um, situation. They're aware that their feelings are there for you. Let's get into the reading, Virgos. What else is here for July 2022? Okay, so we have five of pentacles. A lot of you need to focus on dialing back with your, your spending or someone could feel left out in the cold here. I'm getting here um, that with the Ten of Swords, you will um, get over this or there will be some type of overcoming energy within the month of July. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles. Ooh, someone is definitely being extremely deceptive for the moon to come out in reverse. It's like someone's going to be exposed. But someone's trying to delay that exposure because they know that they're not going to, because of their ego. Their ego and pride is not allowing them to come towards you. But the Ten of Swords, they're trying to play it safe right now. That's the energy I'm getting. What's this moon card? Yeah, someone's going to be exposed about a relationship that they're in or a, a relationship that they want. With the Ace of Wands, I do feel like this could be them unlocking some type of um, passageway to them. But they're feeling very defensive about this. This could also be them uh, loving you here. This person still loves you here. All right. What else for July 2022? You have the chariot. So 
Someone here is definitely not making the extra step or taking the extra step to go forward somewhere. Someone keeps getting delayed. It's like a flight keeps getting delayed, they keep delaying something, or travel time. Yeah. There's movement that's delayed because of a lack of wanting to move. This person just doesn't feel like it. I'm hearing that song by Ludacris. When I move, you move just like that. When I move, you move just like that. When I move, you move just like that. Okay, something's keeping them held back. Something or someone. We have the hanged man in reverse. I'm getting here that someone's still doing the same old thing or stuck in the same old ways. Or someone's hung up over something. Someone's overindulging in being afraid to step up to the plate. But there is judgment in the matter. What else for Virgo? Okay, so we have Knight of Pentacles. Something's going to be moving in slow motion, but slow and steady wins the race here. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Okay. I think that this person is, is starting to awaken here because um, they're thinking that if I don't move or make some type of movement or at least show some type of um, initiation, I will never get the opportunity. So I'm getting here that this person may be realizing that the more that they delay something, the, the less time that they have to accomplish whatever it is that they want. Okay. We have justice. Yeah. Judgment and justice is coming out. It's like double justice. Someone's going to be getting some type of karma for everything that they've done. Yeah. You're going to be manifesting while someone's going to be getting just judgment. Okay. Somebody, <laughs> I'm hearing somebody's going to be hung. Okay. Someone is, is having so much burden of coming towards you with some type of truth that they're just hanging themselves. Okay. What's this karma? Wow. This karmic has a lot to say. This karmic doesn't want to tell you that they're envious of you. It says, I don't really love him, but I don't want to let go. What does he see in you? So this person from your past is still hung up on you. This person that is this karmic wants to seek revenge but is hiding this because they know that it's a dead situation here. This person is trying not to show a lot of emotion because of how invisible they feel to your person and they're jealous and envious. <laughs> like they can't hide this. Come on now. Come on now. This person cannot hide this. This karmic is playing themselves, trying to hide the way they feel. It's, it's still ending up in the upright. At the bottom of the deck, this person, this karmic, whoever this may be, says, I know about you too. So this person knows, but they're in denial about wanting to know more about you and why this person is so hung up on you from your past that they're dealing with what is let's see what is this revenge that this karmic wants to take over Virgo wow they're going insane nine of swords this could be an air 
person or someone that has air in their chart, Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also getting here that with the King of Pentacles, this person feels lost without the person that was in your past here. This person feels like they're nobody when they're not around or with this person. They become very codependent on your person here. Yeah, I'm getting here that if they don't have a low vibrational person or entity around them, they they lose power. I'm sorry, y'all. I just seen that we hit 40 minutes, okay? Or just about. So I'm getting here that they're trying to delay some type of new beginning because they know that it's going to cause some type of friction or disconnect with, the, with your past person, okay? I'm getting here that this person is blindly going to be someone is aging here when they look in the mirror versus uh when they look in the mirror versus what they see in real life someone is aging someone could be getting older someone's trying to be motherly or nurturing someone's in this nurturing energy someone doesn't want to lose the other person because like I said, it, it makes them lose power. But they're trying to restrain from what they really feel. All right. So that's what I have here for your current messages, Virgos. Hopefully it resonates for July prediction 2022. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one.